The Performing Artist Collective Alliance, or PACA, is a space for artists to come together for a common cause. Usually people gather here for the arts, but on April 4th it's seen that the arts came together for the people. Over the last decade, the number of heroin-related deaths in Erie County has tripled. In the past year, people have began to take action to help solve this problem. HOPE, which stands for Heroin Overdose Prevention in Erie, is a Facebook page where inspirational stories and advice for addicts is shared. This event, Music for Hope, was organized by local promoters to raise awareness for hope. One promoter, John Box of the Box Street Culture, is taking on the mission of prevention in the community. The problem is, you know, saying you always hear about, like, you know, people, like, dying and that. Like, you know, it's, oh, yeah, yeah, I knew him, whatever, and everything like that. Like, I know one weekend we had, like, three in a row. And yeah. Like that, you know what I'm saying? So, most of those people, basically, um, people that you knew. The problem is, you know what I'm saying, I think the important part is to be proactive. And that's what really the community is missing. Box is passionate about providing a platform for creative young minds to explore their talents. Besides planning events showcasing local talent, Box and his crew have organized an after-school program for kids. Basically, we're doing an after-school program where it's based on that, based on, you know, if you want to be able to, you know, do graffiti on canvas, you want to be able to learn how to DJ, you want to be able to learn how to dance, not no crazy folk or whatever, or tango, but you want to b-boy dance, right, you know. So the same concept that we adapt to that is the same concept we're adapting to, you know, to hope, you know. Instead of just watching bodies down, left and right, people you know, the problem is it doesn't really affect you till it affects you, right? Besides musical performances, speakers like Katie Benner told their stories of addiction. I was snorting heroin all the time. I said I'd never shoot it. I said I'd never put a needle in my arm, and three months later I had a needle in my arm. And I had a boyfriend at the time, his name was Tommy. And we shot heroin together all day long, and we were in love, and it was perfect. And then I found out I was three months pregnant. I wish it was a little bit softer, I wish it was a father, I wish it had a girl. Although Benner still struggles with the consequences of her heroin addiction, she's now doing whatever it takes to stay clean. So I've been to rehab like five times, I've been detoxed like seven times. Um, I've got 16 months of clean now, but it's only because I'm on this relaxing program and every month I have to pay a doctor like $180 to write me a script for a medication that makes it impossible for me to use heroin. So it's like I'm relying on another drug to keep me off another drug. And I mean, some people get clean, you know, and, and they don't need to take some action or whatever, but I am like a chronic relapser. I am the worst kind of drug addict. And every day I have to wake up and fight this, this urge to go shoot the... Another person who shared their story at Music for Hope was Ruben Wilsonheimer, a Philadelphia native who has lived the rock star life of sex, drugs, and rock and roll. And I remember, um... Everybody was partying around me. They had heroin and cokes and we're, we're speedballing. So they were just kind of mix and match and everything. Uh, and I remember two days later, I passed out. Three days went by. And I remember feeling something. I was, uh, I was underneath my sink in my bathroom. And I remember feeling this kind of like a warm feeling on my head. And I opened my eyes and the sun was beating on my head. I was under my sink in my bathroom and people were partying around me, just, you know, three days went by, they didn't even check on me, as if I was dead, whatever. So I kind of looked down, and there was a syringe sticking out of my arm, and that was it. That was the last time I touched it. As a community, we have learned just how dangerous heroin is. Now with the help of local musicians and organizations such as The Box and PACA, there is hope. Double E, R I E, P A, if you ain't heard about us, we don't play.